now let's imagine that that interviewer is asking you a market size in question. Could you please estimate the potential market size for anti-smoking drugs in China market? If I were you, I would first again ask some clarifying questions, especially know your success metric ultimately. I would probably ask something about like, can you maybe tell me what should be the unit for us to calculate the size of the market? Because you know, there are different options of what uh, the unit could be. It could be the market size could be sized in the number of bills or a number of customers or monetary value, etc. Just make sure that you really know what are the what is the criteria. Then please consider the market as a whole, also including your competitors, because you are asked about the entire market. And then bear in mind always the factors of affordability and accessibility of a product here or in some other cases especially it's a production related case then also bear in mind the factor of capacity these factors are really important just to give you brief examples if we're talking affordability it is basically like how many people can really afford this pill how many are willing to quit smoking and how many are actually willing to pay a certain amount of money to afford this pill. And the second one, accessibility, is also pretty obvious because especially given the conditions that this is a prescription-based pill which also has a patent, it's on the one hand pretty expensive, which means in terms of the affordability, and on the other hand, you need as a and consumer to probably go to the doctor to have the recipe to get the pill and you also need a pharmacy. Well, for a big country like China, this might not always be the case because huge extent of the population of China lives still in the villages and therefore China's population consists of urban and rural areas. And what is the accessibility, for example, of the pills in the rural areas? And now you also know the factor that one of your objectives is to reach a break-even point within two years. You probably would need to prioritize the entire population and make this pill, first of all, accessible only in high density and high income populations like in the cities of uh, Peking, Shanghai or other big urban areas. So therefore, affordability and accessibility as a factor you might probably use in 90% of all the cases in terms of the market size. Yeah, and then you need to make sure and ask whether there is any available data first even before going into the assumption. Generally speaking, there is a three-pillar strategy on how you could conduct your quantitative analysis. Number one. First and foremost, describe your business logic. Number two, proceed with assumptions if the numbers are not given. Or number three, give the calculations. So with the first principle, business logic first. Don't even think of assumptions or any numbers right at the very beginning of the case. First of all, really make sure that you have a sound business logic. Like how do you want to factor it? Then secondly, after you've described and communicated your business logic to the interviewer, you may say something like, if you agree with this logic, can you maybe tell me whether you have any data or should I make my logical assumptions? Which will help you to understand either you need to do assumptions or you can get the exhibits and proceed straight away with the calculations and operating with the numbers. After you have presented the business logic to the interviewer and asked for data, there are two scenarios. Either the interviewer gives you the data in the exhibits or speaks out loud it to you, or you will be asked to do your logical assumptions. How to do those logical assumptions? For example, you know that the population of China is about 1.3 billion people. You can still ask whether it's accurate for, for the ease of calculations to round this number to just 1 billion people. And then you might be knowing, for example, what is the 
percentage rate of people who are smoking in your country, but then you want to approximate it for a Chinese market. So for example, you may say, I know that in my country, roughly 5% of the people are smoking. However, I have heard that in China, a larger extent of people smoke. So can is it reasonable for us to assume that 10% of Chinese population is smoking? And then get the agreement with an interviewer, like get his feedback, get his okay on that, and then proceed. Like do always one to one assumption at a time. Don't jump before the train, just one assumption at a time. And that's how you proceed. And then in the third step, it's all about computing and doing your calculations. So, and the calculations, it's also just very important that you do one calculation at a time. There are actually two types of markers when it takes up to the quantitative analysis. So number one, it's your accuracy of math. And number two, it's your ability to set efficient equations. So for example, if it really means that there is a five operation problem, you need to solve it in just five operations, not in six, not in seven. That's what we call efficiency. So solve it in minimum possible way of operation. And calculation phase might be also divided into two parts to make it even easier for you. So, first of all, again, explain the calculation logic to the interviewer and tell him exactly how are you going to do these calculations and agree about it. And then in the second step, do your operations properly. And you know what? It's very important for you to know and to understand. It's not a GMAT exam. So no one expects for you being very, very fast. So your speed of the calculation, in fact, is way less important than the accuracy of your math. So quality of the calculation always goes first compared to the speed of the calculation. So make sure that your calculations are all correct. And now I want to give you a home task. In the next video, I will be giving you the exhibit so that you can proceed with your calculations. Make sure you have a pen and you have a paper and then let's make it even more practical and see you in the next video.